of the fourth step. Deep or the last. Going deeper on every step that you step down. Deeper, deeper. And the third step. We're getting to that point where time is starting to stand still. Where you're almost in another dimension. You're almost ready to step over in the second step. Deeper, deeper. Almost in that other dimension, almost there. words that you have to describe what you're feeling now is beautiful. Coming into that frame of mind where life is getting beautiful and we've just started. Now you're all the way down off the staircase. You're feeling wonderful. You're feeling beautiful. Look off in the distance and you can see a doorway. It's not just any doorway. It's a portal. It's going to take you to an even deeper place where you'll be even more aware of your connections with your spiritual self. of living life in ego. When you're living life in ego, it's draining. You're always having to make decisions. You're always having to work. Sometimes things don't work out. Lots of times things don't work out. When you're connected to your higher self, though, and your higher self is making the decisions for you, it's easy. Everything flows. We're getting into that state called low state, or at least that's what counselors call it, they call it flow state, when life is just flowing, and we're not going to do it through counseling, we're going to do it through connecting to our higher power, first thing we're going to do is we're going to feel all the energy, 
coming off of everything around us. We're going to feel the energy coming up from the ground into our feet. We're going to feel the energy coming down from the sky to our head. We're going to feel the energy coming off of the trees. We can breathe it in. We can breathe it out. Form that connection with the trees and the grass. They're giving off their energy to you and you're giving your energy to them. Feel that connection with the ground as you're receiving energy from the ground and you're giving energy from the ground and you're giving energy to the ground. Feel that connection with the sky as you're receiving energy from the sky. Back in the day, the Native Americans used to call it Father Sky, and Mother Earth. Native Americans knew how to receive the energy from Father Sky and Mother Earth. You're learning how to do that also, giving off and receiving energy from Father Sky and Mother Earth, forming that connection with everything around you. As you're doing that now, learning how to do it on a daily basis also, building up that connection with the earth, with the sky, with all living things around you. And once you learn to get good at it, it's kind of overwhelming if you can have that connection. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to work on our chakras. So find a tree to sit under. Sit under that tree. The tree is to your back. As you do that, you can feel the energy coming off of the trunk of the tree right into your back. You can feel the energy coming up through your tailbone from the ground. And as you're breathing in, you can feel the energy. Resonates with the energy of living life. 